Hey YouTube, so I'm back again. Uh, it's been a little bit since I posted a video, but uh, since the last time I posted, I've made a couple of uh, additional purchases on Tamu. And uh, so I thought I'd let you guys join in for my unboxing experience here. Uh, I've got a number of items to go through, so let's get to it. Now this box over here, this is they call uh, Starlight. It's got a power rating of 10 milliamps and a rate voltage of 5 volts. Comes with this little uh, charging cable. And inside the box we have some pretty decent packaging. And to take it out, let's see here. So the, uh, it was inside of this piece. For me, it was easier just to tear it apart. And the construction of it, it's some kind of, uh, it looks like, uh, probably like a balsa wood. Feels like, like a, uh, like a balsa wood. Doesn't feel like plastic. And the individual parts are glued together. And uh, let's see, I've got a USB I can plug into over here. I'll just bring it closer. Now, from the looks of this online, this was a decorative light. Um, it's not quite the size that I was expecting it to be, but actually it's kind of okay. Because uh, if it was as big as I thought it was, it might actually be inconvenient to put it somewhere. I ordered it mostly because I thought it was pretty and I was like, oh, it's a little bit big, but you know, I'm kind of happy with this. Uh, it doesn't come with its own power supply, so it looks like it's something where it'll have to be actively plugged into a USB for it to be able to work. And let's see here, look at that, it's not bad. So like the inside is kind of like a, a semi-reflective mirror coating. Spreads out the light a little bit. Well, that's pretty. I'm sure my wife is going to like this one. What do you think? That was a good reaction from her. Yeah, you like this one, June? Yeah, that's like a Christmas night light. Oh. Well, there you go. We got the verdict from my, uh, from the little girl. She likes this. All right. Now, next in the list, we have this chalking, uh, stacking chair game. <laughs> so. Made in China. Difficulty level three out of five stars. Although, honestly, to me, I would think that that would be largely dependent on who your opponent is. <laughs> I'm assuming you probably take uh, take turns stacking the chairs until one of you knocks over the stack. Okay. Let's see, are there any instructions to go with this, or is this just the chairs? Alright, it's just the chairs. So that's probably it. Uh, or at least that's how I'm going to tell the girls how to play with it. You take turns stacking the chairs until one of you knocks over the stack. Huh. Neat. So, I guess you would start with uh, one chair and then put another chair and then the next person puts their uh, their chair on top of that and then another person comes over here and sticks their chair and then another person comes... oh and I already lost <laughs> what do you think Jim? <laughs> that would be a fun stacking game yeah you like this stacking game? Mm -hmm. I'll do mine you'll do yours? I will take green take green so you start, okay, so we start with the green one. Yep, I know so the green one. So then it's yellow. my turn to put a red one. Now you put your yellow one on top. Uh, put 
put it somewhere on top. We gotta stack them up. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Okay, this one's there. And look, you can take this one like that and put it there like that. Okay, and then we're gonna use orange. Orange? Okay. Where are you gonna put the orange one? Right here. Right there. Okay, and then I'll put this one over here like like this. The second one I'm gonna use is blue. Blue, eh? Mm-hmm. Oh, there we go. That one fit there pretty good. And then I'll stick this uh, one right there. I'll use purple for my next one. Yeah? Yep, purple. Purple stuck. Put it on top and we gotta stack them up. There we go. Yeah, like that. Alright. And now, then I'm gonna need another yellow. And I'll take a red one and I'll put the red one here. I'm gonna take a yellow one and I'm gonna put it here. Whoa. Mm -hmm. And how about another purple one right uh, over here? And how about another green one? Oh. Over here. Oh, it's tipsy turvy. Alright, now I'm going to take this uh, blue one and put it there. I'm going to take this orange one and put it right over here. Oh, pretty tippy. Oh no, I knocked one off. I guess that means I'm the loser and you're the winner. <laughs> All right, so we'll put this inside the box so I can show the rest of it, okay? You can take the box with you and you and Alice can play some stack of chair games. There you go. That's one more stack stuff. And let's see what else we have over here. Oh, okay. This here is a kit for creating uh, window decorations that I ordered for my wife and uh, the kids. It's not really my thing. But no, Junie. Junie. Yeah, yeah, I know, but we're going to make some room for now. And, yeah, just until I finish, okay? Okay. I'll play in the room instead. Well, no, you can play here. Just play on the floor instead, okay? Okay. Okay, so on the inside of this kit, we get um, I guess this is paper to make sure it doesn't bounce around too much, and uh, you get all kinds of these little like shiny little gem things. Another little uh, shiny little piece designed to deflect the light, and then all of these little metallic pieces that are designed to go in there and hold the gems in place and nicely enough they do give you a little pl uh, plier to work with so oh and a bunch of little hoops so that you can tie stuff together so this will be uh well we'll get a better opinion on this after my uh, my wife uses it to make a couple of little window hangers Now, what else do we have in here? Oh yes, this is going to be for the kids room. It's a dream luminous lamp. So it uh, puts like a galaxy of stars all over the ceiling and stuff when they try to sleep. We'll see how well they sleep when it's uh, working for the first time. 
Again, like the other one, it plugs in with this uh, USB. And the unit itself... Yeah, I got you girls the pink one. So, looks like it has three modes, A, B, and C. And, of course, I wonder if it uses the same size barrel jack. Looks like it. Okay, so I'll save this cord over here for now. Give it a plug in there. And so here you can see it's got these different little lights over the top of it. This is probably A mode. B. Okay, looks like B allows you to turn it off or select the coloration that you want. And then C, okay, on or off or white light, and then A. If you put it on A mode, then you get this cycling of lights. Yeah, if you could see the look on my, uh, my oldest daughter's face right now, she's pretty excited to have it in her bedroom. <laughs> well, this will be nice for the kids. We'll have to see how uh, how well this works tonight. Now, I've got another toy in here that I got for the kids. And a couple more things. These I was pretty excited to get. I uh, I know what they are just from the size and the process of elimination now. So these are. Uh, a solar system decoration and a galaxy decoration. So this one over here, uh, it's got a dedicated USB plug. So you won't be, uh, you won't have to be worrying about losing the USB for it. And the other part of it is this little laser etched. Uh, glass sphere. I'll give it a little wipe down because it seems to be covered with a bit of dust, which is fine. Okay, and there's the top. From my perspective, it goes about there. And we'll give her a plug. Hey, look at that. So you can see the uh, the whole representation of the solar system here. And uh, with it spun the right way around, all of the planets uh, and are labeled. That's really nice. I like that. That's a neat decoration. What do you think, Alice? Yeah. All right, you want to see the other one? Yeah. All right, so same sort of thing, same base. So I'm just going to switch the bulb on the base here. This one is a representation of the Milky Way. So let's see here. That's also nice. Amazing to think, eh? In the real one, you can get tens of thousands of light years between eh, from side to side. And now, something else that I got. This one was more of a little utility for uh, the home. So, it's uh, not... Well, actually, I'll do this one first. This is another toy I picked up for the kids. This here is for them to be able to do little art uh, things 
kind of like uh, the impression I was getting when I looked at it. All right, lucky for me, I have multiple batteries. Anyway, so uh, I'll re-explain this one because I'm not sure how much I uh, lost and I'll edit out whatever I don't need to. But uh, anyway, so this is kind of like a light bright and uh, except, you know, without needing the batteries from what I could see online. So it comes with this little board and a bunch of these little pieces over here. So these little pieces they store conveniently inside of this pouch. And I'll open up both packages so I can just get rid of the, the extra. And now, instead of uh, instead of having to use uh, or rely on the lights, the pieces just fit inside like this. So this will be uh, this will be a lot more user friendly for them. They won't have to uh, they won't have to worry about whether or not they have the battery to play with their toy. They'll just be able to play with it. Now the same can't necessarily be said about the uh, the next toy that I picked up for the kids to play with. The, ne uh, the next one was uh, something that I thought would be really nice for them. But before we get to that no, leave it there. We're going to show you something that uh, I got because I'm pretty sure my wife would find it funny. Well, both funny and useful. Uh, here we are. So, all of this has been pretty easy to open up. This packaging is very scissor friendly. And this one is a little laundry bag. Well, it's pretty big for laundry. Yeah. Let's see, what does it say? It says, laundry today or naked tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so this will be pretty nice. The bag itself feels pretty sturdy. It's got like a piece of ribbing here near the top. And... Yeah. Stink? No, it doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> you silly. So stick that down there. And then finally for the highlight probably of this little haul for the kids is I got them each one of these because they were uh, on for a pretty good price and both my little girls like playing video games. So, uh, yeah, for 17 bucks, I had to get both of them one. Is that so, mine? Well, one of them is yours and one of them is Alice's. But you want to lose those. Yeah, and we're going to have to charge them before you can uh, play with them. So, let's see here in terms of what's in the back. So, in the back, we have a replaceable lithium-ion battery. It's nice. Daddy, that looks so beautiful. It's like the Earth. Yeah, it's the solar system, Jenny. It's nice they put the little tabs there so that your batteries aren't pre-dead when they arrive. And it looks like each one of these is capable of outputting to the TV. Mm. They both come with these, uh, with this little cable. So we've got the yellow and the red. So, I mean, it won't go with every modern TV as some of the modern TVs are lacking these plugins now. But luckily ours has them. So we'll see how this works out. Now, in terms of charging, let's see here. We'll get it plugged in and give it a turn on to see uh, how it is. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I'm not going to be totally cruel. 
There's a special little part of this that uh, they should be given the opportunity to do with their own toy. I know everybody likes to do it. So, Junie, do you want to do the honors on yours? Mm -hmm. Okay, grab this blue little tab over here. Mm -hmm. Grab it. Peel it off. Ooh. <laughs> here, Alice, you can do it with yours. And let's, and let's see, okay, so the charging port is on the top, so let's see here, yeah, it's the right orientation, got it plugged in, and then power switch at the top, so right away we get this, uh, we get the music, we have a volume slider on the side over here, oh my God. and you get two language options, you got Chinese and English, which Makes sense. Chinese is at the top. Oh, okay. I was assuming that this was going to be like a solid spot, but it's not. It's actually just a circle pad acting as the D-pad. So that's that's kind of nice. In terms of button layout, we have A, B, X, and Y. And then this is a reset button so that they can go back to the main menu. We also have start and select. And from what I was seeing, this was said to be an open source gaming console. So I would imagine that plugging it into the computer, though I'll have to check it later, uh, but by plugging it into the computer, I'm willing to bet I can find a way to uh, load different software onto this, if it ever comes to that. So I'll click on English. There we go, and what do we have here? So this is uh, very obviously a, a bootleg kind of system uh, because if I look at the games list here, we have uh, we have Angry Bird, Contra One and Two, uh, Snow Bros, Contra Force. Wow, a whole bunch of the Contras: Super Mario, Doctor Mario, Street Fighter. Adventure Island, Chip and Dale, one, uh, one through three, a bunch of the Double Dragon games, Ninja Gaiden, Tetris. So I imagine that uh, probably Nintendo, Capcom, and Namco are not terribly happy with this uh, with this system, but uh, I guess it is what it is. So. I've got the little charging indicator here. It's blue. Let's see, we have some instructions that come with it. Let's see what the instructions say about the uh, the charging light. That side's in Chinese. Okay. Don't touch the battery when it's directly charged. Uh. Do not put the battery in the heater fire, that's fine. Uh, okay, so it doesn't look like there's uh, any sort of instruction on uh, what to expect for the charging with the battery over here. I'll undo the other charging port so I can get that charging for the other one. And I'll uh, open up an emulator here and we'll see how uh, how that works. So that one can get charging here now. Okay. Let's see. So let's go with something that I'm more familiar with. Let's say we'll go with uh, Super Mario Bros. Okay. So, coming into the game here. So, let's see, was that a glitch? Okay. 
So just a note there, it doesn't look like every game actually uh, responds to controls. Let's see, maybe... Alright, this game is uh, responding though. Oh, and in Chinese. Well, hopefully I can plug this into the computer and change things a little bit. Oh! Ouch. You can tell I haven't played this game before. Okay, so B jumps higher. Pause works. Oh, and I died. Well, anyway, I think that's a pretty good show of what's on here. And a little bit of what to expect, but that's my Temu haul. So as always, see you next time, YouTube.